Yeah, but if I let you see it, I'm going to have to kill you because what we do out there, we produce all the sails for all the America's Cup boats. Any design that comes in is basically in the lockbox. It's not, no one can go in and go in and look at those designs, so it's all top secret. Some of our staff, they won't even know what that is actually America's Cup sale because there is a number on their work ticket and on the, you know, the worksheet. You don't necessarily know it's, it's being built for the America's Cup. We pay the same amount of attention to anything we build in Minden, if it's the Mocha, America's Cup, Super Yacht, whatever it is, everything is equally as uh, important. Everything is top secret and that's, you know, we've proven that before in the America's Cup. They rely on us and keep it secret and, and they trust what we do out there. So nothing comes out in the, in the, nothing is available to anyone else. They are off to the Louis Vuitton Cup Bravo, final Bravo, to face Bravo, Ineos Bravo. Britannia. Oh. If you look at how 3DI right now, with the flying boats we have in this cup and the last cup, you basically cannot do without 3DI because the way we utilize the modulus of the high-end materials with carbon, aramid, um, Dyneema and also, you know, lower modulus, we're utilizing the material in a totally different way. We need to have extremely low stress because you're dealing with we try to be get to more or less uh, solid wing shape. Now we're sailing the boats in you know 60 60 miles an hour in any direction. It's pretty crazy, and that seeing that you know the, the the development curve is basically gone vertical from being very level, and then suddenly it start to go up, and then I'm vertical, and then we'll see where it's going to go from there. You can only you can only sail so fast, right? Is this today that Britannia creates history? And we're, we're getting to the limit where, you know, eventually the apparent, apparent wind, you can't sail right with the apparent wind <laughs> right in your nose, right? Because then you can't sail anymore. The biggest change that you've seen is the materials, maybe in the last 40 years, the materials used and how we use the materials. 3D molding is here to stay for us. Uh, no one else is really using it the way we're using it. I think it's way superior. I think the next revolutionary step in sail making is going to be a new material that we may not know about yet. But the, the one thing that's interesting to me, now I'm involved in America's Cup in a different level. Not my, but the factory North Sales Nevada that I run is producing all the sales. And if I go back and look at my history from you know the mid to late 80s, where we were in cell development uh, programs, design programs, etc., and going through from there into where we are right now, and it's to me it's it's really interesting to still have a certain amount of involvement in the America's Cup where it is today. The key thing is to have the schedule sorted out because we know we're going to get rush orders when it's a matter of the cup. If someone breaks a cell, we're going to turn over a cell and you know really quick. Meanwhile, we're producing cells for a lot of super yachts for, you know, 100 footers, etc. So we're in a normal production cycle and then we set up times where we're at America's Cup sales. Yes, it's, it's quite stressful and it's a lot of pressure. But, you know, if it wasn't, you know, if it was easy, it would be no fun to do it, right? That's kind of the way we look at it. Yeah, a challenge is always good. Come on, come on.